lightning. You ready? Oh, yeah. Lightning's ready. So, with Lightning McQueen losing the Piston Cup to Storm in the final race of Cars 3, sources from Pixar have just revealed that Cars 4 would feature what they call the last race in history. This might be one of the craziest things you'll hear today, but the fourth Cars movie would bring us what is known as the final race. And yes, you, with what we have known so far of Cars 4, you have to believe me when I tell you this movie is going to be mind-blowing. You guys are real class acts. Congratulations, Cupcake! <laughs> They are gonna pay. Since its first ever movie, the Cars franchise has put smiles on the faces of fans and also left many unanswered questions. Insiders in Pixar revealed that production is about to commence for Cars 4. It looks like we are finally going to get answers for questions that have been on our minds since the first movie. The source revealed that Cars 4 would provide the much needed clarity on unresolved issues from the three movies. But before we bring you all of this information, I want you to picture this scenario in your heads. Imagine McQueen racing one last time while simultaneously coaching the film's main villain. Crazy, right? Yeah, so prepare yourself because we are about to witness one of the best movies ever and its storyline is gonna blow your mind. Gravity, my way. No, 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 you are not winning this. Ah, uh, you're angry. I am not. So, one question we pretty much don't seem to have the answer to yet is whether John will return to film considering that he no longer works directly for Pixar and Disney, or would Brian also direct his second film in the franchise after Cars 3? Throughout the Cars movies, witnessing Lightning McQueen's victories has become a familiar and enjoyable aspect. It's always satisfying to see him win even though we know he is an excellent racer and we tend to anticipate his victory before the race. The real excitement lies in the circumstances or hurdles he faces before his victory. However, while we were expecting another victory from McQueen in the third movie, fans got a shocker. Although it was a deliberate decision by the production team, McQueen's loss in the race set the stage for introduction of Lightning McQueen's ultimate challenge, the final race. Now, as McQueen and his crew have become a cohesive team, he finds himself in the role of mentor to Cruz, mirroring the relationship he once had with Doc. <laughs> but the thing is, when we first met Lightning McQueen in the first film, he was arrogant and proud, and that was what happens when you always win. Pride gets to your head when you are not careful. However, notice this. Under McQueen's guidance, Cruz began to win more races, and then she unwittingly became exactly like McQueen, and that was before he ended up in Radiator Springs, only after several lessons he finally starts to embrace humility. Information from sources that we got from Pixar suggests that Cruz would become arrogant, which would cause Lightning McQueen to back down as her coach and her teammate. But then the most incredible part is yet to come. With Cruz winning her main competitor, Jackson Storm began getting frustrated, and he needed what McQueen understood and had to offer, which was guidance and advice. Lightning McQueen then switched sides to help Jackson Storm focus and understand, as he did, that there is so much more to life than being the greatest race winner in history. At least, that's what he attempted to do. It's precisely this moment that we will witness the film's second major surprise, which would be the past of Lightning McQueen. Things happen to everybody, Odie. But you never leak oil. Yeah, but I ain't perfect. Don't tell nobody. While McQueen was pushed away by Cruz and now serving as a mentor to Jackson Storm, we get to see numerous flashbacks about Lightning McQueen's past and are presented showing Jackson Storm's story and his own are similar, including their origin and how they became great race cars. But notice this while we see how Lightning McQueen old past shaped him into a great race car. His more recent past with Doc Hudson made him understand that victory isn't always at the finish line. But also in the journey, that's what he would attempt to do with Jackson Storm just as Doc Hudson did to him. The detail is that Jackson Storm doesn't want to win in life. All he wants to do is win the next race, and when Lightning McQueen realizes this, Cruz would simultaneously 
obviously recognize the mistake she has been making. They reconcile and that right there is the most amazing thing you could ever imagine in this film would happen, which is the final raise. Yes, you heard right. The movie won't end without Lightning McQueen winning its final raise, and in his last race, Cruz will repay the favor McQueen did for her in the third movie. Stop that! You're taking me off my lawn! Ass left! Come on, Cruz! Beside and let him race in her place, giving him one last chance to defeat his rival former pupil turned rival once again, Jackson Storm. While we're uncertain about the specifics of how this showdown between Master and Apprentice will unfold, we can be sure it'll be nothing short of fantastic. After all, if there's one thing Pixar excels at, it's infusing the highest moments of their films with plenty of emotion. This is what heightens fans' expectations to pure hype, especially considering the flashbacks into McQueen's past. Apart from having the final race, which would be the showdown, and what lots of fans want to see, Cars 4 would answer a lot of questions which fans have been hoping to get answers from. And one of them is the iconic absence of Doc Hudson in the last two Cars movies due to his passing, which even gave its name to the Piston Cup trophy in the fourth film, which mainly occurred due to the death of the character's voiceover actor Paul Newman in 2008, shortly after the release of the first Cars movie. But what fans like you and I would want to know is how Doc Hudson ended up in Radier Springs, practically a town on the brink of vanishing on the map, and still became judge and doctor of the town. This is surely one of the unanswered questions, one which could bring Doc Hudson back again, this time voiced by a young actor to portray his young version. But Hud never touched anyone, unless he wanted to. This would be a tribute to Paul Newman who was chosen to voice the seasoned race car character because he loved motorsports and was skilled in it. Pixar will add this by exploring the town's history, where many important characters like Sally, Lightning McQueen's girlfriend, live or ended up. In the first film, we found out that Sally is a lawyer in Radiator Springs, but she also owns some land there. Before that, she was a successful lawyer in California, a successful life that everyone would want. One thing Cars 4 will look into is what made Sally leave her old life behind. Leaks suggest that her ex-boss and ex-boyfriend, who played a big role in her decision, will show up again, causing more problems for Lightning McQueen. But you can expect that by the end of the movie, things will be okay between Sally and McQueen. And one thing Cars fans have been hoping for will happen, and that is Sally and McQueen's wedding in the future. Beyond racing and winning the final race of his track career, Cars 4 promises to end on a high note by showing the couple at the altar, formalizing their union, and of course, after this, McQueen retires from racing and would go on vacation with Sally, and naturally, they would have their little car. How would they do that? I have no idea, but they are definitely smaller cars in the car franchise, so yeah, they make babies, and surely we would be introduced to one of them. I mean, McQueen and Sally's heir would most likely want to also race, just like their old man. And according to a strong rumor, which was inspired by real-life careers of various Formula One and NASCAR drivers, Cars 4 would set up a new twist. After Sally and McQueen's return from their vacation, McQueen gets a surprise invitation to join a competition. But this time, it was not just a spec competition competition. It's like the Cars World version of Dakar Rally. McQueen smiles at the ocean, showing he's ready for more races. Can you imagine how cool this ending would be? It could lead to more movies, with McQueen and his family maybe even coaching his kids to become racers. But with the help of his best friend Mater, who is up for an adventure and in a rally, his tow truck ability would be invaluable for pulling McQueen out when he got stuck. It's good to be home, everybody. After Sally McQueen returned from their vacation, McQueen receives an invitation to participate in a competition, but this time it won't be all about speed. It'll be something similar to the Car World version of the Dakar Rally. He would smile to the screen, which means he's still up for more races. Can you imagine how awesome this ending would be? This would give rise to more films featuring McQueen and now his family, perhaps him coaching his kids to become race cars and other times competing in the most dangerous and deadly rally in the world.
the world. While there's no official announcement, it is believed that the movie will be hitting our screens between late 2025 and June 2026. Considering five years passed between the first and the second, there was a six-year difference between the second and the third, and with this logic, we made up adding one more year between films. The interval, maybe seven years. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you later.